a, a pretty massive project that tells the story of a big Italian-Spanish family in ancient Rome between, I would say, Middle Age and Renaissance. And it's about that family, how they started getting into power through the church and um, how the clan, the Borgia clan, sort of tried to get control over whole Italy and uh, hopefully the world. There have been massive peer dramas already. I think what is so special about the Borgias is we've been shooting this mainly on original locations, like this church here, which is a really old rundown church, which actually represents the Basilica San Pedro in Italy that was run down by that time. And if we would have gone into a studio, we would never been able to do that. And I think around 85% is original location. And well, we tried to be pretty authentic and uh, that has its price. I think it's the biggest European series done so far. Yeah, it's a, it's a mixture of cultures and I think it worked pretty well. It was a new experience for the showrunner, so it was for us, but that's unique. That, that was also, I think, the first experience of a completely European financed show where we brought in an American showrunner. I have to say he's American from his education, but he's culturally, I consider, also European because he's an he's a Italian immigrant, Tom Fontana. But it turns out pretty well. And I think we're going to repeat that experience. We decided to shoot here in Prague and in the Barendorf studios on the back lot mainly. Um, because it's a country that has a strong film culture. So people really are good craftsmen, they work hard, and they understand also the history and the authenticity that we're trying to, to achieve here. So Barndorf being, I think, the biggest European studio still so far, um, well, it really matched our ambition. I think Tom Fontana took a lot of time to do research and partly we've been even getting to the Vatican translating ancient manuscripts from Latin into English um, to sort of have a background um, on all the characters in the period and I think we tried to retrace really what, what happened. Then Tom got inspired by all this but created then the characters and the stories etc. And I think what is brilliant is that on one hand it's historically accurate, but on the other hand, the storytelling is pretty modern. It's fast-paced, the, the characters are, speak a modern language, and it's a sort of show that a modern audience can identify with because it's the same narration, the same speed, like a Soprano or Dexter or, or uh, The Wire, I would say. I'm interested to see how the audience will react to the characters we have, but because we created characters that are really strong and extraordinary and if, if they can grab into them then then we have a series then we're going to go on for seasons and seasons, and seasons. it's not it's not really mini series where you have where you have a story you tell it's more about characters and, and their life that we're talking about here well the experience with the whole team was was, was excellent and i must say when we set up the show with all the head of departments and, and the casting. We started with a team of really high-end professionals like Tom Fontana, Oliver Hirschbiegel, and around that creative team, we managed to gather really the top craftsmen, the top actors um, on this show, and we could see that they were really motivated to get on the show. It was not a job, it was not for money, it was really for the show. And that was enthusiastic, and it stayed till the end.